Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm honestly having a pretty slow morning and I thought I would take you guys through a full wellness and kind of recovery day. I feel like I've been good with my routine and even today I'm still in my routine, but I definitely feel like I've been not overworking my body, but this past week has been filled with a lot of workouts and my body is definitely feeling the stress and needs some TLC and recovery. So I thought I would have a full wellness day. I do have a reformer Pilates class booked for 10 a.m. today and then this evening Alan and I are going to go to a sauna and ice bath, do a little hot and cold therapy. It's so good for nervous system and muscle recovery as well. But that's a little bit of an overview of what I'm going to get up to today. I've got my little immunity ginger turmeric shot. <laughs> Cheers. Ah, I almost did that. I almost did that one in a full go. I'm gonna grab a glass of water and we're gonna sit down and do a nice long journal and devotional session this morning. currently so gloomy and foggy this morning like you cannot see anything out there <laughs> making these protein pancakes and I'm literally obsessed with them because they are so easy like even easier than my typical protein pancake recipe it's just oats banana protein powder one egg and water and that is it and they still are like somehow fluffy and like delicious but much more high protein packed and I can enjoy pancakes without having all the excess added sugar which is really nice but I'll still like put like chocolate chips and like blueberries and then maple syrup on top and stuff, but they are so good. So that's what we're gonna make this morning for breakfast because I'm gonna show you guys how delicious and easy they are. So I only have s'mores protein powder right now. So I'm gonna do half a scoop of protein powder and then half a scoop of plain collagen. So it's not too s'mores flavored. I did make them a little bit too watery this morning, but they'll still be good. Probably did not do the best job at convincing you guys that these are actually good this morning because I added too much water and they are a little bit flat but they're still delicious. And then I also added a few figs on the side. I might end up having more just because they're so good. But this is breakfast this morning. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna get dressed and ready to head out to Pilates. I'm not gonna lie, it feels very put together to be wearing a full three-piece set to a Pilates class this morning, but I'm all ready. I'm just gonna fill up a water bottle and then we're gonna head out. Mm -hmm. 
you guys that Pilates class absolutely killed me a lot harder than I ever expect like Pilates especially reformer is always more difficult and challenging than you expect it to be I'm gonna go pick up a little post-workout smoothie now because Bloom recently launched a smoothie at fresh restaurants so we're gonna go try out Bloom's it's like a hot chocolate smoothie and I know it's literally freezing outside but post-workout smoothies just always hit so that's what we're heading to do In the warmth of oh my I love that it is freezing outside and I come home and it's literally so warm and cozy in here but let's do a taste test of the fresh X bloom smoothie I think it's like similar to a frozen hot chocolate but it's like much more nourishing let me read you guys what is in it there's the bloom reishi hot cocoa latte blend and the salted caramel blend there is almond butter dates oat milk banana and then some coconut yogurt in there as well let's see how this goes that is so good it's like a delicious nutty slightly banana cocoa smoothie so good I think I'm gonna drink this, probably gonna hop in and have a hot shower. Alan and I are going to go to a sauna and ice bath tonight. I feel like after the last few days of a ton of workouts, I definitely need some recovery today as well, plus doing workout this morning. So this evening is calling for a full wellness recovery night. And then also like maybe just like ordering food in or making some comfort food, I think is also the plan, but so good oh my gosh other than that it honestly is just like a nice chill recovery saturday i really wanted today to be a slow full focused wellness day so that is what we're doing
think one of my favorite things is a good everything shower hair wash day and maybe this wasn't the smartest idea because i'm going to a sauna tonight but i just feel so good and so refreshed now and like clean and moisturized and it's just such a good feeling I just made myself a little salad for lunch and this has been my recent lunch hyperfixation. So I just did a bunch of mixed greens, cucumber, green olives, chicken breast, goat's cheese or feta, and then drizzled some balsamic glaze on top. It is so super easy, simple, delicious, a great healthy lunch. I feel like I might start adding some black beans, maybe some pumpkin seeds too, just to get a little bit more protein if I don't want just chicken in there, but great healthy little lunch. I also have been plopped back down reading after i finished my shower honestly it always amazes me how fast time goes when you're not paying attention like it is already 3 30. have to head out around 5 30 ish so we can make it on time for our 6 30 p.m sauna and i'm having lunch kind of late just because i know we're gonna have dinner super late because the sauna ice bath is about an hour and a half and so i figure we're not having dinner probably until like 8 39 ish so having a 3 p.m lunch is very off for me but makes sense because of how late we're going to be having dinner like this is not usual normally i'll eat lunch at like 1 1 30 ish like that's normal but that being said I have been reading, I'm almost done Assassin's Blade. Can't believe how fast I've gone through this book. Definitely went through it a bit faster towards the beginning of January, just because the last week has been so super busy that by the end of each evening, I'm honestly kind of brain dead and I don't really wanna read. I just wanna pass out and go to sleep. But I have loved this book. I think just reading Selena and Sam's kind of backstory and seeing how she grew up definitely adds more to my like emotional attachment of the characters and honestly adds to the overall story as well obviously but if you are reading the throne of glass series and you haven't read assassin's blade yet definitely read this i actually would recommend to not read it first i know that is the technical order and that's not the order that it was written but a lot of people read assassin's blade first don't read this book first my suggestion would be to read it before Queen of Shadows, which I think is what most people suggest. And honestly, I'm reading it after Queen of Shadows, but I do think it makes more sense to read it before Queen of Shadows just because of everything that takes place in that book. Either way, definitely do not read it first. I think that you just won't understand it and have the emotional attachment to the characters that you would if you read it later on. So that is just my two cents about the order. Still haven't decided if I wanna go into the tandem read next or after I'm done Assassin's Blade pick up something else entirely. I will get to that when I'm actually done the book, but for now I'm gonna eat lunch and sit and read. This has honestly been such an ideal Saturday. I feel like I really needed a break. I really needed a day off and a day to rest. And I feel like I recently definitely have been taking my weekends as more chill days because my weeks have been so busy and I really enjoy that. I know I honestly have not done that much today, but going to a workout class, reading, and then going to a sauna, ideal wellness day for me. Eucalyptus. Post sauna, we are feeling refreshed. Amazing. So good. I think we'll definitely be back. But we were just talking with uh, some of the managers and people that live around here. I think we're going to go grab dinners. Somewhere, somewhere we weren't going to we're gonna go downtown. 
home and we were just gonna make food, but we're starving. So I think going out for dinner is the plan now. <laughs> Me di un